Minister Patricia Venus Henry. Join me every Sunday right here on the Tobago Inspirational Network at 9.30 p.m. for Stepping on the High Waters. Stay tuned because God is turning things around for us in this season. Good evening viewers, welcome again to Stepping on the High Waters. It is lovely to be in your homes again and I'm just here to share some serious nuggets from the Lord to both you and to I. I am Minister Patricia Venus Henry and I am also a minister in Divine Destiny Restoration Worship Tabernacle. And this evening, I am here on the topic, am I serving God conveniently or am I truly committed to God? And last week, we start the journey. We started the journey and we went through some little nuggets. And as I was there, checking in on it, it hit me that some of us, that is the word that I got from the Lord, that some of us are not truly committed unto him. Some of us, we believe that we are truly committed to him, but we are committed conveniently. And the Lord was saying, to me to ask ourselves this question. Can we say we have unity in God? Can we say we are committed to God in fullness? Can we say in the spirit we are fully committed? Can we or do we believe that we are truly committed and it is a question for us to answer now when we look at it it may seem simple why because we never really sit and think about it properly we never really go hard at things until something touched us until something opened up our eyes and then you say, really? Really? Am I doing things conveniently? As it suits me? Or do we ask the question, what in it for me? What in it for me? And the, the Lord is saying, that if we really believe in him, if we really believe that our commitment to him is not really anything because we just come, we just going to church, we just doing things, we just, we just, whatever it is, we just there. God said, no, you need to be fully committed to me. You need to be fully understanding of me. Because guess what? There are consequences in not going forward in God. And there are benefits in us going forward in God. So this day I am here to say to you and I that we must get the value of serving our God. We must get the value out of our commitment to God. We have everlasting life, we have his love, we have his grace, we have his mercy, you know, we have his strength, we have his peace. Listen to me, we have so many things to stand on. His mercy is everlasting, his love is everlasting. And we have to stand firm on his word. We have to stand firm in the position that we know, that we know, that we know that the God of all God, is working in us for good. 
He is working in us for good. If we only believe that all things work together for good for us who love God, all things, all things, all things. He's saying all things. And today, this evening, I want to urge us to just do some checking, do some digging in our hearts. Uh, are we totally committed to the Father? You know, if we are not trusting in God, we cannot learn what we're supposed to learn. We cannot receive what we're supposed to receive. We cannot know what we need to know. His truth is there for us. His wisdom is there for us. His understanding is there for us. We just have to believe and walk in his truth. We need to trust him. Proverbs 3, 5, 6 says, Trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not unto thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him. <coughs> Excuse me. And he shall direct thy path. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart. And lean not unto thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him. And he shall direct thy path. As I um, said last week about the electricity that went... Can we imagine no water, no electricity for a while, meaning no connection at all? Can you understand, or can we begin to understand what that will do to us? <laughs> no connection at all. That means we are in total darkness. Some of us will not sleep. Because you are afraid, and you are afraid of the dark. And you know, when you don't have any lamps to shine throughout, and you only have candles, candles out, at a certain time, the candles will melt down. They will melt. And there is no light for you to see. There is no light. So you will be in total darkness. Compare that with not living in God. Not having God at your disposal. Not loving God as you ought to. Not walking in God as you ought to. Not understanding the things of God that you ought to. You and I will be in total darkness. Because there, is no, there will be no unity between you and God. Because what? You rest him down. We rest him down. And we pick him up at certain time. Amen. Hallelujah. Excuse me. Blessed be the name of the Lord. We need God's love at this time. We need his word at, at this time. Because as we go through the no water, the no electricity... Can you imagine, I am saying it again, can you imagine the frustration? Can you imagine the panicking that will be going on in the city? Can you imagine the wandering to and fro? We will be murmuring all the time. We will be panicking all the time. Some of us will go into hiding because we will be so afraid when 6 o'clock reach, 7 o'clock reach, when the darkness is stepping in. And we don't know what will happen because we don't have any light to see. Anything can take place. And when we are not in God, we cannot see properly. When we are not in his light, we cannot see properly. We cannot imagine the darkness that we will be in. Let us not have that water for days. And we not even six hours we begin to murmur and cry out, where is the water? 
And just as how we are saying, where is the water? Where is the light? Where is that electricity? We would say, where is God? We should say, where is my God? I need my God in my life. I need to serve my God. I need to be where God is in my life. So this is evening, I bring to you that we need to trust in the Lord with all our heart. We need not to lean under our, onto our own understanding. We need to trust his word. We need to trust his will for our lives. Oh yes, I know that many of us, we, we know we walk strong, we talk strong, you know, we, 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 we argue strong, but listen to me. What value do we get by doing things in our own selves? What value do we get? Because there are times when we have to stop and think, do a sailor moment and say, this thing isn't working out. This thing is not working out. I need to believe in my father. I need to trust in my God. I need to utilize the Holy Spirit as I ought to. I need to be in connection again. We need, you see when the current comes back, how people, oh my God, thank you, Jesus. Father, we bless you. We thank you. We adore you. We lift up your name. Hallelujah, the current is back. Hallelujah, the water is back. That is what we should be doing when we return to God. When we step up to success in God. When we step up to another place in God. When we make a decision to restore our love back to God. When we make a decision to say, come what may, I am serving my God. I am going to my Father because he is the one that has protected me. He is the one that has been protecting me at all costs. He is the fixed God. Whatever it is that we are going through, he will direct our path. He is going to fix what we need to be fixed. Think about the consequences of leaving God, running away from God, and telling yourself that I could rest you down for a while. You, you realize the prodigal son he was having a good time. He was have oh boy, he was having a great, great time. And guess what? When he came to his senses, he said, boy, what is this boy? What am I doing here? What am I doing here? I left a house full of goodies. I left a house in right standing, a peaceful, loving house. I had everything in that house. And I walked away from that house and gone, hanging out here, there, and everywhere. And guess what? Everything came to a stop. He stood still. He stood still in time. And he said, what am I doing here? I must return to my father's house. And there comes a time when we have to stop and think and say, it is time to return to my father's house. It's, it's, it's like no electricity for a while. Can you imagine the heat? The heat is on. Can you imagine the heat in that place? For two hours, if you are in a hot place, for two hours, you want air condition. You want, you want the breeze to blow. You want water to drink. And that is how when we are missing God, we become thirsty. We come hungry. The place is heated up and we want a cool breeze. We want to be in the cool of the day. We want water to drink because we became so thirsty. We are in the desert place and we are so thirsty where there is no water to drink and we need that water. We need to wet our lips because our tongues will be scorched. In the heat of the day, our tongues will scorch. So we have to run for the cool of the day. We want to be in the cool of the day. And God is saying, rest down these, these, these things. 
and run to me, run into my arms. Come on, in order to survive in this heat, this COVID heat, this pandemic heat, in order to survive, we need to run back into the arms of God. And those who are in it, those of us who are in it, we need to go further. <coughs> Excuse me. Do not separate yourself from God's love. You and I need to embrace his love in a dynamic way, in a magnificent way. Remember the goodness of the Lord. Remember that God is staying power. Remember that. <coughs> Excuse me. Remember that God is sovereign in our lives. He is sovereign in our lives. Amen. There are no limits in God. So people of God, I urge you again. Come into that place with the Father. Come into that place and receive his love again. Come into that place. Because I want you to know that we are in a season. We are in, excuse me, a set timing where we cannot miss the timing. Do not let this season pass and we have not plunged in to the things that God put on our hearts. He's nudging us to do. What is that thing? That book we are writing that we... We, we have not been penning it. Come on now. Listen to me. That story that the Lord told you to write. That book. That magazine. Hmm? That thing that he told you to study. Get on board. Get your PhD. Get your doctorate. Or that group that he had asked you to start since 2018, 2019, 2012. What group? What did he say to you and I? that we are not implementing because the time is running fast. We are already in 2022. And just what time it was, was 2020. We are now in 2022. So we must get the value of the things of God. We must get the value out of what God is saying for us. And listen to me, it may not look like anything now, but in five years' time, you will regret, we will regret. In 10 years' time, that is the time you may say, I'm, I'm not ready to do that. And we waste all that time when we should have been further. Yes, I know we, we, we constantly say, um, Timing is everything, but many of us missed our timings. We didn't miss our timing because the timing was right there and we missed it. Do not miss another timing. Do not miss another season. You will not be comfortable. When the Lord begins to share, when the Lord begins to speak to you and I, we will say, oh boy, if I had done it then, if I had braved the weather and, and do it then, I would not have to do it now. What I am doing now is what I should have started then. And there are benefits in doing the things that God says to you and I at the right timing. There are benefits. Do not miss out on your benefits. God is right there at our side. He is right there watching over us. He is right there looking over us. And we need to know that hope never runs out. His hope, we, our hope does run out, but not his. Not his at all. So we just want to bless God that we are in a season of understanding. We have heard the word of the Lord and we say yes to the word of the Lord. It may not be a fresh word for you, for someone, but there are others who never heard it before. So it will be a fresh word for that person. And we join force right now 
that as we acknowledge the Lord, as we acknowledge his ways, as we acknowledge the things of God, what he wants us to do, what he's saying to you and I, we shall receive the benefits. As we acknowledge him, he will continuously be directing our path. And we just have to step into those. You don't know what you will meet on the way. You and I don't know what we will meet on the way. And we do not want to be in this regret mood because we were, we were stalling. There are good things on the way, on the pathway that the Lord opens for you and I. So get into the ship. The ship may look as though it's rocking a little bit. But the water will be settled. It will be still at some point in time. It will never, never always be rocking all the time. Think about when you are going through the tunnel. At the end of the tunnel, God is right there. All his benefits, they are right there waiting on you and I. So we want to bless God this evening. We want to thank him for his word. We want to thank him that he is continuously speaking to us that we will step out of convenience into total commitment again step out of convenience that place of convenience and enter into the world of commitment total commitment to God because he is waiting on us remember we have staying power in God unity is strength we have unity in diversity. If we come into that understanding that God is always on our side, listen to me, we will be a little further than where we are. So we just want to thank God. I come in agreement with you that you are going to fulfill what God says to you. The promises of God, they, are, they belong to you. They are yours Continue to tarry in the name of Jesus. Father, we just want to bless your people, O oh God. We stand firm on your word, God. Father, we declare and we decree that these are your people. There are set time set aside for them. This is our season. This is our right season to abide in you. And we come into agreement of encouragement to abide in him in this season. Stop procrastinating and entering, enter into the water, step into the water, step into the water. And Father, we just thank you that your people will agree with you and they will run and not be weary. I declare this evening that your grace is sufficient for us. Your grace is sufficient. And I declare that your mercy is everlasting. You are there pushing us forward. You are pushing us on. You are standing right there next to us. Your angels are always there with us. And we want to thank you for the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit will comfort us and guide us and continue to intercede on our behalf. So we say people of God. We are grateful for this season. Yes, yes. The pandemic is there. The darkness is there. But let us keep looking up. Looking unto Jesus. The author and the finisher of our faith. And we give God praise. We give God thanks. We want to bless his name. That you will continue to be encouraged. And you and I will continue to encourage others. To stand in that strength of God. He's there with open arms waiting on you and I. <clears throat> in the name of Jesus. So I encourage you again this evening. Do not lean onto your own understanding. But lean onto the understanding of the Father. Do not regress. Continue to flow. Continue to run. The waters are right there waiting for you to step into it. And God is right there waiting with open arms to receive you. And there are times when we feel we know much. But there are times when we just wait in his presence. Just be still. Just wait in his presence. And allow him to take us through. 
allow him to direct our path. Give him what is due unto him. Allow him. Allow him. Release yourself and just allow the Lord to make you over, to do with you whatever he wants to do with you. In the precious name of Jesus. And we just say praise and thanks be unto the Father. Blessings, blessings, blessings. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Let your testimony be a great one. That I was standing in this place of convenience and now I move into the position of total commitment to the Father. And we can say it again. I move from that place of convenience in God and I move into the position of total commitment unto the Father. Blessings to you until we meet again. Bye for now. God bless. I'm Minister Patricia Venus Henry. Join me every Sunday right here on the Tobago Inspirational Network at 9.30 p.m. for Stepping on the High Waters. Stay tuned because God is turning things around for us in this season.